Well, that's dark. <laughs> root beer. I like root beer. All I want to do is spray that purple stuff on it, and then I'm going to hold it off with a... You did the one off his chest? Off his chest? Oh, man. Wow. Oh, look. So nice and clean in it. <laughs> Something like that. God damn. It smells a little burnt. Yeah, that's what I said. That's, that's there ain't that much shit on the magnet, though. But check this out, though. So, um, when, look at it again. So today we're going to do something a little different. Um, the box here has to go to the dealer because it's, the shutter is so bad now that the car is not even enjoyable to drive. Like cruising speeds, the car shakes so bad, it just vibrates the whole car. And the first time I took it in, they replaced, like they uh, flushed the fluids and they did a TCM flash. So now it's like three times worse than what it used to be. So I know the second time I took it in, they replaced it. And I've already had one flush and flash on this trance. So now we'll see what they do this third time. Hopefully they don't say they're gonna replace it because I'm tired of having to put the car down. But if it goes down this time, it's gonna stay down. What I mean by stay down is I'm just gonna leave the car down and we're just gonna put all the other stuff on the car. So essentially when it comes back, um, it'll be on the big turbo, uh, big turbo, the suspension will be on, and I don't really know if I'm going to do the other part, but I'm not even going to speak that up yet. So, but yeah, as far as that goes, um, the built motor will go in it, uh, the big turbo will go in it and yeah, it'll just be fully done because to keep putting the car down, is going to be a problem. But I guess since, you know, this is the oddball. I don't know if anybody builds an 8L45. I've asked a few people and they were like, no, we don't touch those things. So now I'll have to figure out what to do with that because I know if you build the 8L90, it's fine. So I'm kind of in a spot now where it's like, what do I do? Is there a way to stuff an 8L90 in this thing? So we'll see. Guys, with that being said, um, yeah, let's get ready to get out of here. So we finally made it to the dealer. So now I'm gonna go in here and see what they can possibly do about my trans and how much it's gonna cost me because that's what I'm afraid of how much it's gonna cost um so yeah let me get in here and figure out what's going on so I will say that I'm a bit irritated because um even at the dealer I went to the dealer and the dealer told me that um what was it the dealer told me that they could get me in three weeks from now to do a flush it shouldn't be that complicated. Well, it shouldn't have to be three weeks to get a fluid flush. I'd hate to see if something was actually wrong with the car. But anyway, I'm going to try this one last place and hopefully they work out. Because if they don't, I don't know what I'm going to... I know I'm going to stop driving the car because it's like it drives so bad. It's not even fun to drive. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. So guys, I had to come back home for a minute. Um, basically what I was trying to say was, I've went to a million places and nobody has been able to do this in a timely fashion. But I forgot about my boy Austin. I don't know how I forgot about him. Um, his name is SRT Austin. I'll tag him in the link below. His neon is fucking badass. I think it's one of like the fastest ones out right now. I think, don't quote me on that. But finally, she's gonna get her transmission flush. And I feel comfortable because I know these people. So, you know, I'll always support my friends, always. Okay, well now that we're here, 
Um, yeah, let's go see what we can get done. Because I'm tired of my car driving like this. And, yeah. See Austin's neon in the background over there. Might not look like much, but it's pretty, it's really fast. It's just down right now. You look kind of small in there. <laughs> hmm. uh, we got some longer wood here. Sorry for making the job harder. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I need some tires. I've never let them talk me into uh, this particular car. Wow. And then it's like, I remember the forum I told you about. It's like all over GM's forums about this 8L45 and 8L90. I was like, so if you build it, it's fine. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, from the factory, it's terrible. But they don't build 45s. Nobody touches them, so. Well, look like, not that bad. Man, it's kind of swirly. Look at the suction port. Of course, all the drains out of there. Oh, the bottom. I got a filter. Damn it. Damn it. Hey, look, look, stop speaking that bad, <laughs> that bad stuff on me, man. It's always better just to assume the worst case. So yeah, it's not. It don't smell that burnt though. It's black. Well, I'm black, so uh, mm -hmm. I'm dark enough. <laughs> I'll go with it. Uh, hopefully it works out. Hey, Kenny. <laughs> it is nice to see you, though, Simon. It's been a while. Nice to see you, What the hell are you doing with oh, the V6? I don't have a V6. To V8? No. So we had to wait on a few parts. So now they were so nice enough to uh, invite me to lunch. You already got a seat, right? So I guess we're going to lunch. Do I have a car seat? Yeah. All right. I guess I'm getting in a car seat, guys. So, hey, you know, they invited me to lunch. I'm happy. I like these guys. So after a brief little lunch break, we're back. And the car is still up on the lift. And I think the filter just came in. So 
actually about to start uh, flushing out the system and getting everything good. The fluid in the trans was pretty dark, and I mean dark. And we found a little bit of shavings, but I don't think it's too much to be worried about yet. Not really, so <sighs> we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, it's all good. Had never really seen the inside of uh, one of these trains. But now after looking at it, I definitely don't want to see another one because that is uh, a lot of electronics that I don't want to mess with. And hopefully it holds up. If not, it's going right back to the dealer and I'm going to let them deal with it for the second time. Se well, actually it'll be third time, third time. So yeah, we'll just see what happens, comes out of it. Hopefully, fingers crossed it's all good. Thank you. 